Hi son, my name is Paul from Norway. In the previous episode I talked about a Norwegian cabin. In this episode I'm going to be talking about Allemannsretten, the Norwegian right to roam. Spending time out in nature is a big part of the Norwegian identity. And many, like me, spend a lot of time hiking and camping out in the wilderness. Norway is a great place for this, because we have something called Allemannsretten, the right to roam. This is a law from 1957, which regulates the public's access to nature. And the good thing about this law is that it favors the people and not the landowner. Meaning that you're free to enjoy the great outdoors, if you follow certain rules and pay respect to nature. To fully understand the public right to roam, there are two Norwegian words that you need to know. The first word is inmark. This refers to cultivated land, such as farmyards, fields, residential sites, gardens, industrial estates and areas where public access would be of inconvenience to the landowner. The second word is utmark, which means uncultivated land and includes most forests, mountains, beaches and marshland. The right to roam applies to utmark, uncultivated land, meaning you can roam around freely on foot or skis, you can picnic and camp, ride a horse or a bicycle on a track and roads, you can go swimming, kayaking, rowing, sailing, you can forage flowers, mushrooms and berries, and you can fish in the sea. Now with all this freedom, there are still some restrictions to be found, and here's a few of them. When it comes to hiking, you can hike on all uncultivated land out in the countryside, whatever the season. You can hike on footpaths, tracks and roads, but you need to keep your distance from farmyards, private houses and cabins and not step onto any cultivated fields. Where and when can I light a bonfire? If you want to make a bonfire, you can collect firewood by finding branches from dead trees and so on. But remember, you're not allowed to cut down any living trees. Bonfires are also prohibited between the 15th of April and the 15th of September, unless there's a designated spot to do so, which has been approved by the local authorities. And what are the rules if I have a dog? A dog needs to be on a lead at all times, from the 1st of April until the 20th of August. And what about spending some nights out in the forest or the mountains? If you pitch a tent or sleep under the stars, you must do so at least 150 meters away from any nearby house or cabin. Same applies to camping cars and caravans. If you want to stay for more than two nights, you need the landowner's permission. If not, you must pack up your tent and move it to a new location. Make sure to take all the garbage with you and leave the spot in the same shape as when you arrived. Also, you might want to fish, you can also fish in the lakes, but you will have to pay a fee to do so. However, if you fish in the sea, it's for free. What do I need to know if I want to go foraging? When you're out in nature, as a rule, you can also pick as many berries and mushrooms as you like. As a visitor, it's also important to know if there are any local restrictions in the area that you're going to. I think most importantly, when you come to Norway, know that you have a lot of freedom to enjoy nature here. But it also comes with a lot of individual responsibility. All right, that's it for now. Thanks for watching this episode. Please leave a comment below if you have any questions about the right to roam here in Norway. Until next time, take care and hallo bra!